Good morning, second grade math students. How are you doing today? Great. We're here to continue on our unit of study uh, with uh, problem solving and more specifically word problems. And today is a new lesson on solving two-step problems. And it's a lesson to make equations true. What can you do to make equations true? So we are on page 301 in the book. It's lesson number seven, six. The page looks like this. Okay. And um, we're going to be working on focusing to make the equations on one side of the equal sign equal to the equations on the other side. So the equal sign just shows you that the value on one side is the same as the value on the other. Okay? That will make more sense as we go along. So here is the I can statement. And you could read along in the book or you can listen as I read it to you or read along with me. I can fill in missing numbers in equations to make them true. We're on 7, 6, page 301. One more time, I can fill in missing numbers in equations to make them true. Okay, so let's get started. You'll need your workbook and you'll need um, your whiteboard if you want to work on that or pencil and paper. Okay, all right, let's get started and we're going to do the solve and share. I need to find my my writing utensil okay, and I got my little eraser and um, we're going to do the solve and share first then we're going to go ahead and solve some of those problems and this is like problem solving two-step problems but without all the words just the equations you get a little break from the word problems today so what number goes in the book to make this equation true show how you found out so we have 17 minus 9 equals 6 plus blank. Okay. So before we solve and go into that, I want you to think about what I just said about making sure that what's on one side is equal to the other. So the values are the same. So it's real simple if you're looking at it like this. 15 equals 15. But this can also be 10 plus 5. And this can also be 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4, 9 plus 6. And these two equations are true because they both equal 15. Okay, so think about it this way, making them into equations. And now we're going to go back to 17 minus 9 equals 6 plus blank. So what you have to do, how you approach this, is you solve the equation first. And you, you don't think about this yet, because that's your second step. So you're going to solve 17 minus 9. And you can break apart numbers here. 7 plus 2 equals 9. So 17 minus 9. 17 minus 7 equals 10. 10 minus 2 equals 8. So 17 minus 9 is 8. So now you have your answer, step 1. Now you can solve for your unknown. So 8 equals 6 plus what? You can count up 6 seven, eight. So my answer is two. So we go back to the original 17 minus nine equals six plus two. So six plus two equals eight. And 17 minus nine, let's count back. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. Just like this. This was equal to 15 and that was equal to 15. They're just two different equations. But their answer, sum or difference, is 15. 
two different equations, 17 minus 9, 6 plus 2. But their answer is the same, and that's why that equal sign works, because the values on either sign of the equal sign are the same. Okay? So well, that's the lesson. It was quick today. Now we can go practice. All right, let's turn the page to 303. Three. We can do the first one. 9 plus blank equals 8 plus 8. And here we are with our doubles facts. Those of you that love doubles facts, you can solve that immediately. 8 plus 8 equals 16. So now we know that whatever is going to go into this unknown to make the statement true has to equal 16. So 9 plus what equals 16? Well, we can count up. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 9 plus 7. And that makes the equation true. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to 4. 16 minus 8 equals 10 minus the unknown. 10 minus blank. So you solve the side that you can right there. 16 minus 8. Oh, I see a doubles fact again. Equals 8. So 10 minus what equals 8? What's the unknown? 10, we can count back. 10, 9, 8, 2. So your unknown is 2. So your second step. So this is just like your two-step word problems, which you're so good at now. You just have to go ahead and do it in two steps. Okay, we're going to do one more. And we'll do 5. And the unknown, minus 4 equals 16 minus 5. So step one, you solve what you know is there, 16 minus 5. We can count back, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. So this equals 11. So whatever Blank minus 4 has got to equal 11, too. So let's count up. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 minus 4 also equals 11. And now it's a true statement. Okay. Just remember what's on one side of the equal sign has to equal the same amount as the other. Doesn't matter whether it's just 11 and 11. Or if it's two equations that equal 11, whether they're minus subtraction or whether they're addition. Okay? All right. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Work on those, making those equations true. I can fill in missing numbers in equations to make them true. Okay, remember, what's on one side has to equal the value of the other. Okay, have a good rest of your day.